The conclusion about money are not philosophical and not just my thoughts, but about what I've heard, read, and seen in our society. Yet I'll plead with you to listen to the end, to know the real concept behind the value of money. Money is a means of exchange agreed by a set of people in the authority of different nations to be designed in a particular way. It is just a design paper, but with value because of the authority backing it up to be designed the way it is. Our society is structured to respect and honor anyone with plenty of it. And of course that answers the question why many want to get rich. Anyone can have it and have it in abundance if he or she develops the value to attract it. Individual will use this paper to pay for the perceived value you have. This is the part most people do not trade. The few that do and has come across or been able to handle the burden of the learning process have come out really rich and wealthy. These people have learned the foundation of principles of faith as a requirement to cross the bridge of failure, mistakes and setbacks to wealth, true value creation and genuine love for humanity and obedience to the principle desires of the will of God. For this first principle, his first principle is to draw us to the knowledge of himself, but no one can grasp the concept of his existence except through faith. Hebrews 11.3 NLT Version By faith we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command, that what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen, and no individual can understand the concept of faith except through the person of truth. John 14 6, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yes, many have found ways of attaining the means of exchange in abundance without God. No one can ever have the real value of life, joy, and fulfillment in all aspects without going through the real source of all things. For many that have attempted it, have come out with the conclusion, money is a cause. Yet they will not cease trying to acquire more and more, thinking they will one day stumble on peace with the joy that comes along. Many even turn their means of exchange to charity, thinking they will find joy. But because they don't know, every gift outside the real source of everything can never be good works. For our works only become good when we have the truth in our lives. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full. The place where the stream flows, there they flow again. Ecclesiastes 1.7 Life itself is the concept of help, but help is meant to be inspired not as a means to bribe or to attempt to bribe the source of joy without obeying its instructions and principles. Here is the conclusion, and only two are more commonly traveled. Number one, many believe first degree or formal education is enough to answer the concept of money. So they continue in that path and at best get a promotion or promotions that increases their salaries by percentages until they get to the point that's if they do, some never get to this point where they discover there's actually no joy in this path and for some there might not be any more strength to start dreaming or going after their dreams so they retire to gratuity or pension and because of the number of the individuals involved the fund managers have been made so wealthy in as much as there's nothing wrong with this idea or concept no one will find real joy except individuals who understand what guides the source of joy. Number two, other individuals that understand the real part to the concept of joy have turned their back through the frustration of their failures, mistakes, setbacks, or bullies in their path to greatness. They threw away their belief 
faith and passion into the flowing river and have left their potentials hanging in unbelief. Yet, we have testimonies and a cloud of witness confirming success always awaits anyone that endures to the end. Here is the conclusion. Seek the giver of money and not the design paper. Going or chasing after this destroys the real principle that governs life. Money is good, but they that seek after it are never satisfied. Seek contentment and the giver of contentment is God and no one can attain his place except through Jesus Christ. God bless you.